All right, you guys, we are taking a look at replacing a uh, furnace and AC. Um, so we've got what's called the low boy. Got a return coming on in to the back. So what we want to look at doing is getting all this out, turning the furnace, you know, 90 degrees. So we're facing this way. We just draw our return into the side. Um, so, you know, if we put a patch on this, I get the dimensions of this here and then just cut our, you know, wherever we need to be at, but cut it into here and then put our filter in between and then base furnace coil, supply plenum. We have to modify the electric. So more than likely put a junction box up here, bring our switch in to the side, gas piping. Um, so this is actually got a 90 and then another 90. Uh, we can look at this two ways either shortening right into this area. So this is like a one inch down to three quarter. This is where we can actually come over, come into the side of the furnace. And then the flue piping, we're coming in right here. So pretty low, um, but I think we've got enough room for our furnace. The only thought is we're gonna need a liner. So the water heater. So the water heater sits up quite a bit higher. I mean, they may have to open up this hole to make all this work. In fact, I think that is actually probably what's gonna have to happen because that furnace is not going to be much of a slope so more than likely open that up and cap this five inch and what else uh line set so we're at quarter inch we've got to replace all of this this will just come over the top and come right through here run out our breaker panel is just right over here it's cross hollands and it's a 40 amp for the AC, so we'll fuse that properly at the disconnect. I believe that's it.